So, very, very typical day one here at BBA. Uh, kicking everybody's butt. Sorry, sorry. Oh no! That didn't go how I planned. <laughs> Dove and death. <laughs> That's the GoPro right there. Man. You can barely see it. In 10 years, I've never had this many GoPros fall off. Off to a great start here. <laughs> Day one. <laughs> Gotta be the equipment. Can't be me. Yeah, yeah. The shot was done with anyway. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect from our first day and this experience? What do you think Chris is going to throw at us? Honestly, I don't know what to expect as far as what we're going to get thrown at us. The website says for expert mountain riders or something like that, or mountain riding experience, something, something, uh, which I don't have too much of. <laughs> but we saw some dudes with big trucks and wrap sleds and sled decks, and we're definitely not in that situation right now with a half ton truck and an open trailer and sleds with stock everything on them. <laughs> so hopefully the boys don't make fun of us for that. So it should be a professional operation is what I would expect, you know, professional fun havers. I don't know whose slogan that is, but it's probably right. So anyways, we'll roll up to the shop here in just a minute and see what's going on. We're here at Chris's back, Chris's brand's back country. Backcountry Adventures. All right. We're here at Brand's Backcountry Adventure. The snow is that way. The mountains are that way. The shop is right there. That's what I know is messing with me. Hopefully. This is the exciting time. It's day one here at BBA with, I got an awesome group, bunch of repeats. They're here for another butt kicking. Uh, and then I like to get to the top. I like to high five everyone. And those who didn't make it, we come down, we get you on the stuff, we talk about what you did, learn from our mistakes, we go down, we move over, and we go do it again, right? So it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's Heading up to the mountains, everybody's loaded up from the brand shop. Good riders meeting, everybody's in a good mood, so ready to ride some sleds, brush up on some skills. Today's gonna be more of a skill building kind of day, it sounds like, we'll do some drills. Uh, yeah, I think Jason and I are gonna get worked big time. Why is that? <laughs> All the drills, man. We got a six mile trail ride up to the top. Um, once we get up top, uh, we'll find our designated spot. The, the key to success is the eyes shoulders, hips, being square to where you want to go, okay? It was steep, and you got punished for the timing not being correct. 
Putting that slide in. Okay, got it. Thank you. Just do all those 900 things at once at the perfect timing, and it's really easy. controlled and structured environment to practice in because when you're out for fun guys, like you survive it guys? you can we'll like you can like do <laughs> one of the moves and fake it but when you do it over and over you identify the issues and the things to practice so it's super informative it's really cool so far so good uh no one's hit me or kicked anything or thrown anything at me and uh, now we're having a beautiful lunch here at uh, out on the mountain. Oh, Jason, the pressure's on. Oh god! Oh god! Hey, that's what Simon looks like. Uh, <laughs> Jason does not ride with a finger on the brake, and neither does Mike in a pressure situation. That's why he literally was out of control this entire time and drove into the rock. Our body is only doing what our eyes are telling it to do. Yeah, it's easy. Just drift that track sideways and yeah. go right to neutral. They hit those trees simultaneously. I think that's what happens to the end of the day when everybody gets tired. Stuff like that starts happening. You get enthusiastic, uh, but then <laughs> things don't always play out the way you hope they would. So that's when I know like, okay, it's probably time to stop doing drill. First day is always, it's just hard. It's really hard. Adjusting to 12,000 feet, adjusting to the snow, new sleds, all of it. That's a wrap on day one. Yeah, a little worked, but man, it's good. Chris and the, the guides are so good at knowing and picking apart every little thing you're doing. I'll tell you, oh, your foot was a little bit here, your hands or your brake is doing this, and then your palm pressure is doing that, and like really break down everything and tell you what worked, what didn't work. So super helpful, uh, and we're looking forward to two more days of kicking this around. <laughs>